crown Tell the world of the treasure you found event and biggest crusade we've ever seen sister yes, miracle that's right because not only are we being attended here in luneta by 50,000 plus people pero sa buong mundo sa ating maraming watch parties in 1,000 churches and 70 Praise plus God. countries around the world we are being attended as well ako ay sobrang saya sapagkat ako po ay makakadalo ng international missionary day at as well as ito po ay birthday ng ating minamal na subong apostol at ng ating Deputy Executive Minister Bishop Jonathan S. Ferriol. It's a huge honor to move from online to face-to-face. -to -face. That is why I feel very blessed. The first feeling was so surreal, just seeing so many Fort Watchers all around the globe. It felt so heartwarming. Uh, natutuwa po, of course, kasi po, yung mga akalala naman po natin ni Katinas na grabe, ang galing po nila yung mga songs nila. Grabe po. So, natutuwa po ako at excited na excited na pumapanood sila. In the name of our good man of the house, together with the Apostolic Council, we are extending to you the warmest welcome ever. The Senate of the Philippines, congratulate the Pentecostal Missionary Church of Christ under the leadership of its Chief Executive Minister and the good man of the house, Apostle Arsenio T. Ferriol, on the occasion of its International Missionary Day. Salamat sa Panginoon. Binigyan tayo ng isang magandang panahon upang ating ipagdiwang ang Missionary Day. Ito ay kagandahang loob ng Diyos sa bawat isa sa atin. All the things that we have left, for the sake of the gospel, God will pay it back. We will receive the reward. Come on, Manila, if you know that God is good, somebody make some noise. 
Crusade out at the Lunetta Park was historical, something like we've never seen before. I mean, we've been upon this particular crusade, uh, and <clears throat> on top of the mass sea of humanity was uh, the way they organized um, the people, the droves of thousands that were coming up and going to uh, receive baptism was amazing. So uh, thank you all for your prayers. Family, I can't tell you what we've been experiencing here in Manila, part of the Home Free Global Crusade with uh, Bishop Ferriol. This is a sea of people hearing the message of Jesus, the gospel message, and as a result, people responding to have Jesus become their Lord and Savior. There's going to be thousands that will be baptized in water. Truly amazing. Something powerful is happening here, here in Manila. In this world, you will have tribulations. You will have troubles. You will have hardships. But take heart. Take heart. Be encouraged. Be hopeful. Because I have overcome the world. I want you to know that tonight, right here, right now, you can find peace in Christ. In a little while, I'm going to give you the opportunity to make a decision. God wants you to make a decision tonight. Nang nais na Diyos ay gumawa ka ng pagpapasya. Sampalatayanan mo si Jesus. Kilalanin mo si Jesus bilang iyong tagapagbigay ng kapayapaan at tatanggapin mo ang kapayapaan. Sino ang magpapalaya sa akin, sa aking katawan na alipin ang kasalanan at ang kamatayan? But thanks be to God, someone stronger than sin, someone mightier than sin, someone more powerful than Satan has come. His name is Jesus the Prince of Peace, the Peacemaker.
Fourth Watch Nations, let's praise the name of the Lord. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, beloved apostle. Love you, Apostle. We love you, Apostle. We miss you. We miss you. Get well soon. Get well soon. Happy rapture. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. Happy Lord's Day, everyone. This is Bishop. And this is what uh, I am doing right now. I'm using the biggest stage in the world in order to reach as many people as I can, in the fastest way I can, and in the most efficient way I can. That is the legacy, actually, Tony, of my father to me. So what can they expect sa whole free crusade natin sa March 16th? Okay. Asia? Music that is so uplifting. Music that will speak to your soul and to your spirit. You will hear testimonies from uh, people and then of course I will be preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ for about 40 minutes or so and then I will call for people to accept Jesus and to receive baptism and right there and then they can be baptized at the Los Angeles Convention yes. Center. Yes, this is an event that you wouldn't want to miss. So if you want to be blessed, if you want to be baptized, if you just want to have a good time mm -hmm. and feel the love around mm -hmm. the, the people yes. around you, mm -hmm. you know, if, if you're looking for hope, if you're yeah. looking for inspiration, if you want to be uplifted, mm -hmm. you're going to be at the LA Convention Center on March 16 with Bishop Jonathan. Global Crusade 15 Christ the Peacemaker Tour This is the first leg here in Los Angeles and I just want to welcome every single one of you in this awesome event This is what the Home Free Crusade is all about, using this platform to make Jesus Christ known to the world. Home Free is all about seeing the life who has accepted Jesus Christ as their personal Lord and Savior. The most crucial part of this event is the preaching of the Word of God. This is a spiritual event. Our end goal, our end game is to see someone saved, changed, transformed, and healed by the Lord. Father God in heaven, we unite our hearts and our minds as we now spearhead, Lord, this crusade. Crown our efforts with success. Give us victory, Lord, and when we say victory, we're talking about us meeting your goal, and that is to bring salvation to those who are broken, to those who are uh, drowning in sin. Use us, use every single one of us, Lord, to make it happen. Holy Spirit of God, fill this place with your presence. 
We entrust, O oh Lord, everything unto you. In the name of Jesus, amen. I think Home Free um, will impact the world by saving one soul at a time. And that's the main that's purpose exactly why we're right. all here. And by God's grace, may your, um, the, this global crusade will be stronger, bigger, and may we all touch more lives to serve the Lord yes. Jesus Christ. wants us. God desires us to be reconciled with Him. Sa Tagalog, mga minamahal ko, mga kaibigan, ito ang gusto ng Diyos sa atin na tayo ay maipagkasundo sa Diyos. Sapagat tayo hiwalay sa Kanya. Tayo ay lumalaban sa Kanya at wala tayong kapanapanalo laban sa Diyos. But God, instead of retaliating against us instead of punishing us and condemning us. He sent Jesus so that we can be saved. In the book of 2 Corinthians 5.20, it says there, God is now imploring, God is now begging us that we must be reconciled with God. Right here, right now, be reconciled with God. Is stop your days being a spiritual orphan. You can come home because originally you belong to God. You are a sheep of God. You are part of His flock, but you have lost your way. Come home. Be part of God's family. And all you need to do is believe and accept the Son of God, Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, listen, you will receive the right to become a child of God. Your days of being a spiritual orphan is drawing to a close. Tonight, you can have a new chapter. You can have a new status. You can have a new title. And that is being a child of God.
You see, the Holy Spirit can only be received if you will be baptized. Be washed from your sins. And you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit will testify. The Holy Spirit will prove that you are a child of God. Here in Los Angeles, we have made efforts to make baptism a lot easier for you. We have brought baptistry at the back. Tonight, you can walk away from this venue cleansed, made whole, forgiven, and saved. by God's word here in this place. Napakaraming tao and of course the message of Bish Deputy Executive Minister Bishop Jonathan. May kita mo napakaraming tumanggap and by God's grace even our uh, newly baptized in Auckland yung relatives po nila dito ay nadala natin sa Panginoon. We bring them here. In our uh, crusade, marami ang tumanggap sa Panginoon. Maraming nabautismohan. And by the grace of God, my cousin was also got baptized. And, and we're looking forward for more souls to be saved. And words will surely fail just to express how much gratitude I have in my heart right now to have witnessed all those souls coming in front just to um, accept the truth that Jesus Christ is their personal Savior. Hey, I'm Rachel Lampa and we just finished the Home Free Crusade and I just feel so encouraged and so filled up in my heart just by all the love and um, just the beauty of like just coming together as a family of God and um, declaring that we're children of God. And um, it was just such, such a beautiful time and I was so honored to be here. Jesus suffered, crucified, died on the cross to fulfill what was promised to shed blood for mankind. This is the verdict. This is the verdict. Light has come into the world but men people love darkness and God has made a verdict after seeing all that mankind does under heaven God has arrived 
in that definitive, unimpeachable, irrefutable verdicts. A renowned proclaimer of the saving gospel of Jesus Christ and one who has made it his mission to preach the gospel around the world. The man behind the evangelistic phenomenon known as the Home Free Global Crusade. He is the Deputy Executive Minister of the Pentecostal Missionary Church of Christ, Fourth Watch. Ladies and gentlemen, friends and guests, let us welcome our keynote speaker for this evening, Global Evangelist, Bishop Jonathan S. Ferriol. Praise the Lord. To God be the glory. Welcome to Home Free Global Crusade 15 is the city of Marikina in the house. Come on, make a joyful noise unto the Lord. This afternoon, we're going to see the gates of heaven open just a little bit wider. We will once again see the smile of God over the lives of people that He will save. For those of you who do not know me yet, I'm si Bishop Jonathan Priol. At ako po ay nagagalak na tanggapin ang bawat isa sa inyo sa hapon na ito. Kayuman ay aming mga panauhin sa kauna-unahang pagkakataon o kayo po ay nakabalik na. Welcome, welcome to the Home Free Global Crusade 15. Nagpasimula ang krusada na ito sa kasagsaga ng COVID-19 pandemic. And I felt God move me to do something about the darkness of the pandemic. And by the grace of the Lord, three years after the pandemic, here we are. We are still pushing back against darkness. And we are still winning people unto the Lord. Sa hapon na ito ay isang magiging napakagandang Good Friday. In a few moments, we're going to hear songs that will uplift us. Makakapakinig ng, uh, tayo ng mga awit na makapagpapalakas ng ating pananampalataya. And even if you do not know the song, just listen to it and you will feel uplifted and affirmed already. And then after that, I will share to you a very short message about the death of Jesus Christ. You do not want to miss it. Sapagkat ito ang pinakamahalagang bahagi ng gawain na ito sa hapon, ang pangangaral ng salita ng Diyos. And then, after that, you want to remain, you want to stay put because you're going to see an awesome world-class senakulo presentation taon-taon ako ay nanonood ng kanilang senakulo and I don't get tired watching this presentation and the presentation isn't meant to simply entertain or amuse us but they are it is intended for us to have a deeper appreciation for what Jesus 
had done in our behalf. And so without much further ado, once more, let's put our hands together. Let's praise the name of the Lord and welcome the Home Free Global Crusade Band. Kenneth and Donna will help us sing songs unto the Lord. Because peace is here, love starts now, and salvation is today. Amen. So let's open our heart to Jesus. Hallelujah. And I want everyone to clap their hands like this. Everyone can join the love. Everyone from the front to the back, let's get ready.
feels so good to sing about the love of God Amen. to us. That's the message that we sing through these songs. That's what we're going to hear and experience today, that God loves you. Hallelujah. So we invite you to keep singing these songs with us, to keep having a moment of worship, because God is going to do something Amen. great in your life today. You just have to open up your heart. And so as we sing these songs to our Savior, to Jesus Christ, who gave his life for us, open your heart today. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus.
as it is a time of worship where we can reflect on the goodness of God to us as we know God sent his son our Lord Jesus Christ so that we can receive that blessed hope that gift of salvation the sin that we were meant to pay God paid it for us Jesus paid it for us in this moment, as we worship our Savior, our Lord Jesus Christ, let us recognize His goodness, His love, and His mercy to us all. Because it is out of God's love that Jesus died for us. Worship the Lord with me. I want you to raise your hands unto Him if you believe in the work of Jesus in your life. Amen.
turned my whole life upside down Took the old and he made it new That's just what the mercy of God can do Now I'm alive to tell the story How I've overcome It's His goodness and mercy And the power of the blood I'm so glad that my freedom Wasn't based on what I've done But His goodness and mercy and the power of the blood There's so much power in the blood oh. And this is our experience A thought I deserved To be six feet beneath The things I've done, the things I've said, the choices made that I regret. Oh, I would still be lost. Oh, but for the mercy of God. Now we can all sing. Now I'm alive to tell. Because Jesus died for us. We who are unworthy, out of his mercy, out of his love, we are now saved. 
and for those that are seeking salvation those who are longing for salvation remember this that Jesus is also ready to save you Jesus is also ready to work in your life because there's power in the blood yes there's power in the blood yes there's power in his blood oh there's power sing it with me. What can make me whole again? Nothing but the blood of Jesus. What can wash away my sins? Nothing Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. You are a good God. And this afternoon, our lungs, our breath, and our life will speak of your goodness 
in this afternoon. Lord, we thank you. And our praises won't be short of the grace you have given us. Lord, you have been so good to each and every one of us. This afternoon, you made all things possible. That's why we praise your name. Panginoon, ikaw ay napakabuti sa amin. Ikaw ay naging mahabagin sa bawat panahon. Lalong-lalo na ngayon, pinangyari mo ang lahat ng bagay upang ang bawat isa sa amin ngayon ay makarating dito sa Marikina at magpapasalamat at pupurihin ang iyong pangalan dahil alam mo, ikaw lang ang aming pag-asa. O Diyos kami, tumitingin lamang sa iyong magagawa. Hindi namin alam kung ano ang mangyayari. Ngunit ikaw pa rin ay makapangyarihang Diyos. Hindi ka nagmamaliw. Sa iyo wala pa rin imposible. Kaya ngayong hapon, hindi mapipigilan ang aming pagpapasalamat sa iyo. Magpupuri pa rin ang bawat isa sa amin. Ang mga anak mo, magluluwalhati pa rin. Itataas namin ang iyong mga pangalan. Ikaw ay Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. Salamat, hindi mo kami dinako kung saan-saan. Wala kami sa ospital, wala kami sa morgue. Nandito kami, nagpapasalamat sa iyo, nagpupuri. O, oh, iniahon mo kami. Ikaw na ang nagdala sa bawat isa sa amin. At ngayon, kami makakakanta na ikaw lamang ang aming pag-asa. Mga kaibigan, mga kapatid, ating awitin ang si Kristo lamang. At la nawa ang bawat isa na may puso at damdamin na ngayong hapon, si Kristo lamang ang ating pag-asa. Kakanta sa Panginoon! Magpupuri sa Panginoon! Oh, hallelujah! Let's praise the name of the Lord! kasalanan ikaw lamang ang aming kasagutan salamat o Diyos ikaw ang aming manggagamot walang imposible sa iyo o Diyos Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Amang Diyos, hindi pa rin magbabago ang pangangailangan namin. Kami tao lang, Ikaw ay Diyos. Salamat ngayong hapon, kami buhay, malakas, nakapagsasamba sa iyo. Salamat, hindi mo pa rin kami pinabayaan. Dinako mo kami sa isang lugar at ang iyong pangako kung isa o dalawa o tatlo ang magkakasama-sama ang iyong presensya ay nasa gitna nila. Kami o Diyos ay magpapasalamat at magpupuri sa iyo. Salamat, pinangyari mo ang lahat ng bagay na ang bawat isa sa amin ay makapagsamba sa iyo. Ngayong Hapon, makikita namin ang bawat sakripisyon na iyong ibinigay 
ang, ang daan na iyong tinahak, ang kahirapan na iyong pinagdaanan, at ang kamatayan upang kami na mga makasalanan ay maligtas. Opo, O Diyos, kami makasalanan. Kilala mo kami, O Diyos. Ngunit salamat, Ikaw ang gumawa ng lahat ng bagay upang ang isang katulad namin ay hindi na magbayad ng kasalanan dito sa mundong pina, binubuhay, kinabubuhayan namin sa aming kinakatayuan. Ikaw na ang nagliligtas sa bawat isa sa amin ngayon. Idinako mo na kami sa isang uh, lugar na aming matatagpuan ng pag-asa at kaligtasan. At salamat, hindi nagtatapos dito ang iyong kabutihan. Alam namin, may naghihintay na buhay na walang hanggan ng kaligtasan. Ikaw pa rin ang sasagot sa aming mga tanong. Ikaw pa rin ang sagot sa aming problema. Ikaw pa rin ang sagot sa aming mga sakit. At kami ngayon ay naparito, O Diyos. Hindi kami aalis hanggat hindi namin natatamo ang iyong regalo. Hindi kami papayag na mawala ng pag-asa dahil ikaw ay naparito na para sa bawat isa na nananampalataya, naniniwala, at ngayong hapon magpupuri sa iyo. Salamat po, O Diyos. Ikaw ang magbigay ng tagumpay ang saysay ng iyong sakripisyo para sa amin maganap ngayong hapon at ngayong gabi pasaksihan namin ang tunay na pag-ibig mo. Ito po ang aming panalangin sa pangalan ni Kristo Yesus. Lahat ng tao ngayon dito sa Marigina magsasabi ng Amen! To God be the glory. Tingin ko noon na yung alak ay siyang takbuhan ko sa tuwing ako'y may problema, ang gusto ko lang mag happy-happy, kasama ng barkada. Ako na mismo nagyayaya sa mga kaibigan ko, mga kumpare ko, tara, inom tayo. Sa clock ng hapon, start na po kami mag-inom niyan. Pagkatapos niyan, matatapos kami ng mga alas gis. After ng alas gis, parang nabibitin pa. Magyayaya pa kami na magbanlaw sa labas. Iba kasi sa pakiramdam talaga pag talagang nasa impluensya ka ng alak. Andun yung parang siwal-siwal mo. Andun yung parang ang tapang-tapang mo. Uuwi siya ng madaling araw, alauna. <laughs> Minsan wala na sa wisho. So pagdating niya ng bahay, gigisingin ka pa. Tapos ayun, mag-aaway kayo. Paulit-ulit yan, routine na yan. So parang walang, wala ka talagang peace of mind. So lagi kang problematic, ano yung gagawin mo. Uh, talagang dumating na kami sa point na nasaktan ko na siya. So, nasabihan niya ako. Medyo napahiya ako sa mga barkada ko, kaya nagalit ako sa kanya. Yun ang pag-aaway namin na talagang nasaktan niya ako is uh, tanghali. Tanghali pa lang, lasing na siya. Parang wala, wala na talaga kasi siya sa isip niya. Kasagutan kami hanggang sa dumating nga ang point na sinakal ko na siya. Tapos may isang kamay ko, may hawak na electric pan na talagang ipaalok na talaga sa ulo niya. Andun sa harap pa ng anak namin. Yung mukha niya talaga, parang hindi na siya. Kaya nakakatakot na. Hindi na ako makalaban eh. <laughs> Kasi ano, talagang malakas siya. Then wala, iyak na nang ako. Then sigaw. Kaya narinig kami ng tita niya. Sabi ko, wala na. Hindi na to kayang i-ano. Kasi either kapag i-continue pa namin yung relationship na to, uh, either isa sabi mamamatay. Kailangan na naming maghiwalay talaga. Sabi niya sa akin yung bata. Sabi ko, sige. Kasi nandun na yung trauma eh. So lumipat ako sa negro, sa tatay ko. Umuwi ako. Then doon ako nagtrabaho. For almost uh, four years, separate kami. Talagang nakonsensya ako sa ginawa ko sa kanya. Pero hindi pa yung time na talagang magbago ako. Tuloy-tuloy pa rin yung ano ko, yung talagang pagkahilig ko sa alak. Ini-introduce ng tiyahin ko sa akin yung isa sa mga sa Humphrey Force sa ano ni Bishop Jonathan. Doon po sa tiyahin ko na siyang nagsesend ng link 
na siya din po ang nagano sa akin na to niyaya niya. Ang inahanap ko na rin na maglingkod sa tunay na pananampalataya talaga. Tapos parang ako na ano ako sige, parang ayoko na rin kasi ng ano ta, parang gusto ko nang baguhin yung buhay ko, parang ayoko na kasi sa ganitong buhay, inom. Ang isa po doon sa mga natandaan ko na message ni Bishop Jonathan na ang Diyos, pag wala ang tao, ay mananatili, manatiling Diyos. Pero, tayo mga tao, pag wala ang Diyos, wala. Walang mangyayari sa atin. Tsaka, deserve po natin na bigyan ng pangalawang pagkakataon. Doon, doon na ako na isip na magpabautismo na. Nakonsensya ako at the same time, talagang ayoko ko si na masira yung pamilya namin. Ayoko naman na madanas na mga anak ko na magkaroon ng broken family. Kaya ako mismo, uh, sinundan ko si Mrs. sa uh, probinsya din namin. Kasi... Pero sa harap ng Diyos, ikaw ay dukha. Marahil ikaw ay napapaligiran ng maraming mga kaibigan. Pero sa harap ng Diyos, ikaw ay isang yagit. Maaring ikaw ay kilala sa mundong ito, pero sa harap ng Diyos ay hindi kanya kilala. Tayo na nga ay dukha. Ayaw pa nating hanapin ang Panginoon. Tayo na nga ay walang kumikilala sa atin. Ayaw pa nating kilalanin ang Diyos na sa atin ay nagmamahal at kumikilala. We can have all the education the philosophies, we can have all the civility, and we can have all the modernity in our time. But if all of these things are separate from God, separate from Jesus Christ, we cannot do away with evil. You can be changed too. This is the change that you have been looking for. This is the change that you have been wanting for. And this is the change. This is the eternal life. This is the breakthrough that heaven has been wanting to give to you tonight. Sumunod siya doon. So doon nagbago siya eh. Nung talagang ako'y nabautismuhan sa Port Watch, nagtaka ako na talagang parang uh, nawala yung pagiging manginginom ko. Kahit ako nga mismo nagtataka eh. Kung bakit kaya... Uy, ay kaya hindi ko na inahanap-hanap yung lasa ng alak. Uh, yun yung pinaka-way din na parang napakita sa akin na ah, nasa tamang pananampalataya na kami. Nung sinabi niya sa akin na ma, uh, fourth watch na ako. Ma, ayoko na ako lang ang sa kabilang buhay. Ayoko na ako lang ang mararapture. May iwan ka. So gusto ko kasabay kayo. Kasabay ko kayong pamilya ko. Parang nakita ko na parang oh, parang iba. Check na ako online. So nag na attend na ako sa mga home free. So nakikita ko na kung ano yung klase ng klase ang Fort Watch. Nakikita ko. Sabi ko parang kakaiba. Ramdam mo yung ano, yung ramdam mo talaga yung spirit na kapag nanonood ka lang kahit nasa TV lang, parang iba sa mga messages niya dahil sa home free. Kahit na hindi man ganun kami lagi na nandoon na umaten face to face, pero uh, napaparating sa amin yung mga mensahe. Dahil sa kanyang programang home free, marami po siyang kaluluwa na naligtas. Uh, sabay-sabay kami nagdilingkod, sabay-sabay kami every Sunday nandito kami. Isa siya sa uh, nagbo-volunteer din. Instead na iparakada niya pa, mas priority niya na ngayon yung gawain ng Panginoon. Bago ang buhay namin. Kung dati yung buhay namin ay uh, walang peace of mind, ngayon masasabi ko na, na talaga yung family namin ay buo at uh, nandun na yung peace of mind mo. Masaya ka. Masaya maglingkod sa Panginoon pagkasama mo yung buong pamilya, lalo na yung mga anak mo. Ang ginawa ng Panginoon sa buhay ko, mula sa madilim na kalagayan, ginawa ng Diyos na ilagay sa kaliwa na gan. Peace A simple word that everyone seeks yet cannot be easily found. A vital necessity yet cannot be afforded. It seems too easy to get yet too far to reach. This is what we cry out for, hoping for, 
longing for. Internally, we suffer so much from the problems of this life. Our worries, poverty, sickness, sorrows, fear, anxiety, depression. We try to find comfort in temporary things, but this is what we hear and see. Nations versus nations, wars and rumors of wars. People killing other people, economic crisis, famine, and unprecedented natural disasters. In a world full of chaos, where can we find real peace? True peace can only be found in Jesus Christ. He alone can erase all your worries. He alone can sustain all your needs. He alone can heal your deepest wounds. He alone can give you true comfort. He alone can change your fear with joy. And He alone can ax out your battle against anxiety and depression. In Christ alone, nations can unite. In Christ alone, people would find love. In Christ alone are the lifelong solutions. For in Christ alone, we have hope and satisfaction. In Christ alone, you can find real peace. So together, today, let us accept this peace in Christ. to the Home Free Global Crusade 15 Christ the Peacemaker Tour. I would like to greet all of you a blessed Holy Week. Happy Good Friday, Po. Today we commemorate the crucifixion of our Savior, Jesus Christ, by which through his ultimate sacrifice for our sins, we have been saved, amen. The Home Free Crusade production team, as well as the PMCC Fourth Watch Marikina Performing Arts Guild, have prepared a beautiful and spectacular musical play entitled Passion of the Christ, wherein they will showcase the life, ministry, and the sacrifice and crucifixion of Jesus. Because the crusade is about bringing people to the saving knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. That's why before we watch this presentation, we will hear the gospel of salvation to prepare us and to open up our hearts and minds for what we are going to witness today. I stand before you all humbled with the very privilege to introduce our keynote speaker. He's a humble servant who's passionate about sharing the gospel. He is one. He is one that is that wants this message of love to be known to Marikina, his hometown, and to the world. He's the creator of these home free crusades for the purpose of sharing Jesus to the masses. If you are seeking for hope, if you are looking for peace today, you will find it here in this place. And so, please join me as we welcome our keynote speaker, global evangelist, my father, Bishop Jonathan Santos Ferial.
praise the name of the Lord. Once again, welcome to the Home Free Global Crusade 15 here in the beautiful city of Marikina. I was born and raised here. This city has a special place in my heart. But most importantly, the very people that live here. In a few minutes, I will share to you the words of the Lord. And the theme of this crusade is Christ, the peacemaker. Because I believe you will agree with me that if ever there is one thing that we are crying and hoping and screaming to receive these days, it's none other than peace. Kapayapaan ang ating kailangan. Maraming mga sangbahayan ang nangangailangan ng kapayapaan. Ang ating bansa ay nangangailangan ng kapayapaan. Ang buong mundo ay nangangailangan ng, ng kapayapaan. And so many people are pointing us to so many directions, to so many people that seem to promise peace. But I want you to know that the peace that we need can only be given to us by Jesus Christ. This afternoon, I will only speak about Jesus because Jesus is really what we need. And so, I want you to stay put wherever you are. Iwasan po nating maglakad-lakad. At samantalahin natin ang pagkakato na ito, napakinggan ang mensaheng ito. We are thousands and thousands here in this venue, but more people are watching via live stream this crusade. And wherever you are, I want you to know that God cares for you. He loves you. And He wants to give His peace to you. Brother Kenneth and Sister Donna and the band will sing before I share to you the words of the Lord. How great the chasm that lay between us How high the mountain I could not climb In desperation Turned to heaven and spoke your name into the night. Then through the darkness, your loving kindness tore through the shadows of my soul. The work is finished. Jesus Christ, my living Lord, you're my living hope. Who could imagine so great a mercy? What heart could fathom such a
naming Diyos, kami ay nananalangin sa iyo sa mga sandaling ito at aming hinihiling na ikaw ang Diyos ang magpakahayag sa bawat isa na naririto sa krusadang ito. Mangusap ka sa kanilang mga puso, ipadama mo sa kanila na ikaw ang Diyos na nagmamahal sa kanila, na ikaw ang Diyos ang siyang pagmumulan lamang ng kanilang kapayapaan. At nawa ang bawat isa sa amin sa lugar na ito ay magkaroon ng lakas ng loob na makapagpasya, na sumampalataya, kumilala sa iyong buktong na anak na si Jesus bilang kanyang tagapagligtas, bilang kanyang tagapamayapa, bilang kanyang dakilang patnugot at manggagamot. Ikaw ang Diyos, ang aming pinapasalamatan sa napakagandang sandali na ito, sa dako na ito ng Marikina. Ito po ang aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen. We may be seated. I was told a while ago that we have added a thousand more chairs in this place. And from the looks of it, we have a bigger crowd. We have a bigger audience tonight. And once again, for those of our friends and family members, guests, who have come this evening to hear this message, to take part in this crusade, and of course, to watch the Passion Play or the Senaculo, thank you for making that decision to come in this crusade. Huwag niyo pong kalilimutan pagkatapos ng aking maikling mensahe ay mapapanood natin ang napakagandang Senaculo presentation. You do not want to miss it. It is going to greatly uh, reinforce in our hearts the importance of the Lord's death and resurrection. Sa gabing ito, aking babasahin ang aklat ng Mateo sa Kapitulo 6, dito po sa Talatang Siyam hanggang Labing Tatlo. This is what we typically call as the Lord's Prayer. This is then how you should pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us today our daily bread and forgive us of our debts as we also have forgiven our debtors and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from the evil one. This message that I will be sharing to you is entitled, Debt Free and Forgiven. Debt Free and Forgiven. Don't you know that the Philippines is now saddled with 14 trillion national debt? Ganyang kalaki ang utang ng ating mahal na bansa. 14 trillion. That is with a letter T. And by 2024, the national debt will balloon to 15 trillion pesos. Lalaki pa, hindi liliit ang ating utang bilang isang bansa. Nangangahulugan na ang bawat Pilipino ay magkakaroon ng utang ng 141 thousand sa 2024 that is how bad our national debt is right now and it is just going to increase 141 thousand dollars every filipino will be saddled with this debt by 2024 and according to survey seven out of 10 Filipinos are in debt. Sa sampung Pilipino, pito ang meruong utang. At ang pagkakautang ay ang primera at pangunahing pinagmumulan ng stress, depression, at ng malaking kaguluhan sa isip at puso ng maraming mga tao 
lalong-lalo na sa ating mga kabataan. Hindi lamang matatanda, hindi lamang ang mga may sapat na gulang at ang mga may bahay ang merong pinagkakautangan o may malaking utang. Survey shows that 58% of Generation Z and 55% of millennials will become more unable to pay their current bills and their loans. Kahit mga kabataan, kahit mga nasa college pa lamang, the young professionals, they are also saddled with debt. And this is one of the reasons why as a country, we are so stressed and many of us are suffering from runaway anxieties and all kinds of depression. Sapagat alam natin na hindi maganda ng isang tao ay baon sa utang. But this is the situation right now that many of us are stressed and we are very much anxious concerning our economic problems. Sa katunayan, here's more bad news. And don't you worry, later on, I will share to you the good news. This is also the reason why 70% of Filipinos are the most stressed compared with other Asian Pacific countries in the world. Ang mga Pilipino daw ayon sa survey, 70% sa atin ay very anxious, nababalisa, nababahala. Hindi sila nagkakaroon ng tiwasay at mapayapang buhay dahilan sa kanilang mga malalaking pagkakautang. And this is not only true in the Philippines, many countries of the world, and even the first world countries are actually struggling and they are suffering because of debts. I have lived in California for 25 years. And one of the reasons why so many Americans are also anxious and many are stricken with panic and depression is because of their credit card debt. And debt is not only straining our personal mind, but it is also putting undue pressure in our marital relationships. Sinasabi na kapag ka ang mag-asawa at ang isang sangbahayan ay maraming utang, karaniwan ang mag-asawa ay nagkakagalit. Sa bahay ay lagi may pag-aaway at ang karaniwang pinagbumula ng pag-aaway ay ang may kinalaman sa pananalapi at sa kanilang mga utang. And that isn't only putting a strain in our marital relationships, in our marriages, but we also know that there are many Filipinos that are resorting to criminality, prostitution, and all kinds of uh, illegal activities such as gambling in order to get themselves out of debt. Debt indeed is destructive. It is debilitating. And this is the reason why there are so many Filipinos that are unhappy. Marami sa atin ang hindi makasumpong ng katiwasayan at kapayapaan, bunga ng ating mga pagkakautang. The book of Proverbs in 22 in verse 7 says that the one who is a borrower is a slave or a servant to the lender. And if you are one who is saddled and struggling with personal debt or your family is drowning in debt, I believe you can identify with this verse in the Bible that you feel you are somehow boxed in, that you feel like you are confined and it's suffocating you. Parang hindi ka makahinga, lagi kang takot, hinahabol ka ng mga creditors, hinahabol ka ng iyong mga pinagkakautangan. 
But you know what? There is a debt far worse than a financial debt. There is a debt that is far enslaving and backbreaking than having a debt in terms of money. And that is called sin. Sin is a debt. Ang kasalanan ay pagkakautang. Mas malala pa ang ating spiritual na pagkakautang ng tao pag ay kasalanan kaysa ang ating pagkakautang sa pananaliti. Yes, you heard me right. Sin is a debt. Ang kasalanan ay isang malaking pagkakautang natin ng Diyos. Sa katulayan ni Mismo si Jesus ang nagsabi na ang kasalanan ay pagkakautang. It says so in our verse tonight in Matthew chapter 6 verse 12. Jesus Christ said, Forgive us for our debts. In other translations of the Bible, it is translated as sin. Forgive us of our sins or forgive us of our debts. And Jesus Christ is right that every act of sin is an act of death. The reason being is because God has given us rules, commandments. And every time we disobey the commandments of God, especially the Ten Commandments, we, we incur that. We are not going to be able to do this. God has given us liberties. Opportunities and gifts, or actually shame and more, more. And, and every time we abuse our liberties, every time we misuse our, our opportunities, ladies and gentlemen, we incur that. We are not in Lala Pasanganin, we are not in Sisirain, Agagamitin, Samilan, Layunin, and Ating Mga Kapangyarihan. Ang ating mga kalayanan at ang ating mga talento, tayo ay nagkakautang sa Diyos. God has given us His words. The Bible is the word of God. And every time we disobey the Bible, every time we violate the Bible, you are right. We incur that debt. And this is the reason why God has declared that all the people of the world are debtors and sinners. Because every time we disobey His commands, every time we misuse our God-given opportunities and liberties, we incur death. And it is for this reason why we are so troubled, why we are so stressed. Why there is no peace in our minds. Why there is no tranquility and calm and serenity in our lives. Because we are debtors. Tayo ay may pagkakangkutsang sa Diyos. Tayo ay mga makasalanan. And anyone who is drowning in debt will never be at peace. The book of Romans chapter 2 verse 9 says, There will be trouble. Yes, yes, you you you, you read it right. There will be trouble. There will be distress for every human being who does evil, for every man and for every woman who, who incurs that spiritual death. He peace will always run away from him. Peace will always escape the enemy. You see, it is our sins that are killing us. Our spiritual deaths are actually crippling us. Yan ang lumulumpo sa buong sanglibutan. Yan ang pumipilay sa bawat mga tao sa buong mundo. Ang ating kasalanan. Sapagat ang sino mang nasa kasalanan ay walang kapayapaan. Anyone who is indebted to God will surely die. At maraming mga tao, buwan ng kanilang utang ay nagpakamatay. 
may mga tao na bunga ng kanilang kamatay ng kanilang pagkakautang ay pumatay din upang sila ay magkaroon ng pananalapi but they have learned that that's not the right way to pay off your debt you do not commit criminality in order to pay off your debt you do not resort to anything that is a criminal act in order to pay off your debt in order for you to pay off your debt you must do it the right way and the bible says in ezekiel 18:20 the soul who sins is the one who will die tuwing tayo ay lalabag sa utos ng diyos tuwing tayo ay hindi tutupad sa utos ng diyos tayo ay nagkakaroon ng utang sa Diyos at dahilan sa ating pagkakautang, dahilan sa ating mga kasalanan, tayo ay mga mamatay. So you might ask me, how can I get myself out of this spiritual debt? Paano ako makakaalis sa aking pagkakautang sa Diyos? How can I get myself out of this spiritual debt? So many things we try and we attempt to get ourselves out of debt but the bible says that none of our deeds none of our actions none of our ways can ever get us out of debt walang makapag-aalis sa atin sa ating pagkakautang sa Diyos walang makakapawi ng ating pagkakautang sa Diyos, hindi ang ating relihiyon. Mabuti ang relihiyon pero hindi iyan ang paraan ng Diyos para maalis ang ating pagkakautang. Mabuti ang moralidad, mabuti ang maging isang mabuting tao, pero ang ating moralidad, hindi iyan ang mag-aalis ng ating pagkakautang. It is not our morality, it is not our piety that will cancel our debt to God. The Bible says that even our righteous deeds are but dirty rags. Isaiah 64.6 The Bible says our, our good deeds are simply filthy rags. Ang ating mga mabuting gawa ay parang maruruming basahan lamang. And this is what I want us to realize, ladies and gentlemen, I am not demonizing religion. I am not demonizing morality and education. They have a place in our civilization. But do not think that being a good person alone, that being a religious person alone, will make you cancel your debt to God. Because none of those things are satisfactory. In fact, the whole humanity is delinquent as far as our sin debt is concerned. The whole humanity is delinquent. We couldn't pay anymore our debtedness to God. We couldn't pay anymore our indebtedness to God. We are missing the mark. Romans 3.23, all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. That's what being delinquent means. Na atin ang nabibigo, nabayaran, nabibigo na nating imit ang ating mga financial and loan obligations. And the whole world is delinquent to God as far as our sin debt is concerned. The whole humanity has been missing the mark that God has set for us. And as a result, of being delinquent, the world today is also defaulting in its debts to God. We are already in default. Not only we are delinquent, but we are also in default. We couldn't pay anymore. We couldn't satisfy the standard of God. Sapagat mataas ang pamantayan ng Diyos. Gaano kataas ang pamantayan ng Diyos? Gaano kalaki ang dapat nating gawin para maabot ang pamantayan ng Diyos? Napakalaki, napakataas. Ang sabi ng Biblia, My ways are not your ways. Just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so my ways are higher than your ways. 
And as a result of our being spiritually in default, we are now being penalized by God's righteous judgment. Alam natin, kahit sa lupang ito, pag hindi mo na mabayaran ang utang mo, you will be penalized. You could get in prison. Your properties could be uh, taken away from you. Because every sin and every debt demands a penalty. And what is the penalty of sin? It is death. Romans 6.23, for the wages of sin is death. The penalty of sin is death. The whole world today is a world of debtors. All of us tonight are debtors. But tonight, you can be set free from your spiritual debt. Tonight, you can be forgiven of your spiritual death. Sa gabing ito, sa sandaling ito, sa lugar na ito, mapapatawad ang iyong pagkakautang sa Diyos, ang iyong mga kasalanan sa Diyos. Alam nyo, kahit tayo ay may utang sa Diyos, ayaw ng Diyos na tayo ay mapahamak. God doesn't want us judged. God doesn't want us punished. God doesn't want us penalized. God wants us to enjoy life. God wants us to have peace. God wants you to enjoy peace, purpose, meaning in this life. In fact, God has done that. God wants to forgive us of our sins. God doesn't want us na tayo ay nakababad, nalulunod sa ating mga kasalanan. Do not think God is gloating over our status as being a debtor to Him. No, 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 no. Listen, God cares for you. God loves you. God wants to forgive you of your sins. Ezekiel 18.23 Listen, do you think that I like to see wicked people die? Of course not. I want them to turn from their wicked ways and live. That's what God wants you to understand. That's what God wants you to accept and realize. God doesn't want you drowning in sin. God doesn't want you imprisoned by your spiritual debt. God wants to set you free. God wants to forgive you of your sins. God wants to cancel your debt unto Him. How can we get ourselves of our debt? It's not our mere power. It is not our mere abilities. Thank God. Kahit tayo may utang sa Diyos. Siya na rin ang gumawa ng paraan para tayo ay maalis sa ating pagkakautang. That's how good God is. That's how compassionate He is. That even though we are indebted to Him, tayo na ang may utang sa Kanya, pero Siya pa ang gumawa ng paraan para ang ating pagkakautang ay mapatawan. Tonight, you can be forgiven of your spiritual death because God Himself is the one who has done something about our death. In the book of Isaiah, in 59, in verse 16, the Bible says, listen, pakinggan ninyo, no one, it says there, no one could intervene so his own arm achieved salvation for him. Mula sa langit, Walang makita ang Diyos na tao na may buong kasapatan para mabayaran ang kanyang pagkakautang. Walang makita ang Diyos na lalaki. Walang makita ang Diyos na babae na may ruong buong kakanyahan para ang kanyang mga kasalanan ay mapatawad. The world from heaven is a world that is helpless and desperate to be helped and to be rescued. And thank God, help has come, rescue has come, peace has come. And that peacemaker is Jesus Christ. The one that can forgive you of your spiritual debt is 
Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the one sent by God from heaven. And Jesus Christ paid our debt. Siya lamang ang nagbayad ng ating lahat ng makakasalanan. It is not a priest. It is not a pastor. It is not an imam. It is not a life coach. And neither it is you that can make you cancel your debt. Listen to this. Only Jesus Christ has come from heaven to earth and He is the one that has canceled our debt. And how did Jesus do it? How did Jesus pay for our debt and our sins? By giving His life at the cross. Jesus Christ, more than 2,000 years ago, walked the Via Dolorosa, the way of the cross in Jerusalem. And upon reaching the hill of the skull called Golgotha, Jesus Christ was crucified between two tibs. It was during the crucifixion of Jesus that He was paying off our sins, that He was actually covering our debts. Sa mata ng Kanyang mga kaaway, parang talunan si Jesus. Sa mata ng Kanyang mga kalaban ay parang si Jesus ay bigo. But little did they know that Jesus Christ at the cross was not dying the death of a failure or the vanquish, but He is actually doing something. Thank God. He's doing something about my debt. He's doing something about my sin. And He is doing something for your sins and for the sins of the whole world. At the cross, Jesus paid our debt. Yung utang na hindi natin mabayaran, Binayaran ng Panginoon doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Sa krus ng Kalbaryo ay pinunit ng Panginoon ang papeles ng ating pagkakautang. Jesus Christ, let me illustrate it, He ripped the document, the certificate of our indebtedness. Second Corinthians chapter in the book of 2 uh, Corinthians, in Colossians chapter 2, in verse 14, tells us this, that Jesus Christ, He canceled the record of debt that stood against us. This He set aside, nailing to the cross. Every moment Jesus spent at the cross, Every single hour Jesus spent at the cross, He was doing you a favor. Thank God, He is doing me a favor. Yung utang na hindi ko mababayaran, binayaran ng Panginoon, yung mga kasalanan ko noong bata pa hanggang ngayon at sa panahong darating, lahat ng yon ay binayaran ng ating Panginoon. And this is the reason why Jesus Christ at the cross one of the sayings of Jesus, Jesus spoke seven praises, seven sayings at the cross. And one of those sayings, He shouted it with triumph, with a sense of completion. Jesus Christ shouted, It is finished! Tetelestai! It is finished! Naganap na. And what is it that Jesus finished? What is it that Jesus closed? What is it that Jesus completed? He completed the payment for our sins. He completed the payment for our debts. That is why if you will accept, if you will believe what Jesus Christ did, at the cross for you, you will be forgiven. Sa ilang sandali, I'm going to open up the opportunity for you to stand up wherever you are. And later on, sa ilang sandali, aking hihilingin kayo na sumampalataya 
tumanggap sa ating Panginoon bilang siyang ating nagbayad ng ating mga kasalanan. And He is inviting you right now. Do not turn your back from God. You have come this far for your sins, for your debt to be canceled. Listen. Listen to what God is inviting us. Come, let us settle the matter in Isaiah 1.18. Though your sins are like scarlet, they shall be white as snow. Though they are red as crimson, they shall be like wool. Gaano kalaki ng ating pagkakautang. Marahil ang iba sa inyo nagsasabi, Bishop Jonathan, you do not know me. I do not need to know you. I may not know you. But God knows you. And He wants you to know that He loves you so much. He cares for you so much that He doesn't want you to live your life in another day, another hour without peace. Tonight, right here, right now, you can have peace because you know your sins will be forgiven. God is in the business of debt cancellation and debt relief. He is in the business of debt cancellation. He is in the business of debt relief. You can be relieved. Alam naman natin, ang sarap ng pakiramdam. Yung ang iyong pagkakautang ay maalis, mapatawad. And God wants you to experience peace. Right here, beginning tonight, beginning in this place, He wants you to have peace. And this is what God will do. Psalm 103 verse 1, As far as the east is from the west, so far God will remove our sins, our debts, and our transgression. Yun ang gagawin ng Diyos, mga kaibigan. Yung inyong pagkakautang, ang inyong kasalanan. Ano man ang inyong kasalanan, gaano man kagrabe ang inyong kasalanan, gaano man kahindik-hindik ang inyong kasalanan, kayang patawarin ng Diyos yan. At the cross, there was a thief. There was a thief who was crucified with Jesus. At first, he was mocking Jesus. He was smearing at his character. But later on, he had a change of mind. Nagbago sa kahuli-hulihang sandali ang isip at puso ng magnanakaw. Ang panalangin ko sa gabing ito, mari hindi kayo magnanakaw, pero ang aking panalangin ay mararanasan nyo rin ang pagbabago ng inyong isip, ang pagbabago ng inyong puso, at kayo rin ay magsisisi sa inyong mga kasalanan at inyong sasampalatayan na tatanggapin si Jesus bilang inyong tagapagligtas. Repent from your sins. Turn your back from sins. Change the way you look at God. Begin following Jesus. Begin serving God. That's what repentance is. At alam nyo, mga kaibigan, ang mangyayari pag tayo ay magsisi, ang sabi ng banal na kasulatan sa aklat ng gawa sa kapitulo 3 sa talatang 12, kung kaayo ay magsisisi at babalik sa Diyos, tatanggapin natin ang panahon ng kaginhawaan. Wow! The times of refreshment that you have been longing for, dreaming for, you can have it tonight, right here, right now. All you need to do is believe. Jesus, I believe in you. That you are the Son of God who came from heaven down to earth, became like a man, suffered, died for my sins, for my debts, and rose again for my salvation. And you must be washed in water in baptism. Baptism is commanded by the Bible in the book of Acts 2.38. Baptism is God's plan for your sins, for your death to be totally eliminated and washed. Repent. Be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus for the forgiveness. That's what's gonna happen. Yan ang mangyayari sa inyo. Pag kayo ay magsisi at magpabautismo, patatawarin kayo ng Diyos sa inyong pagkakautang sa inyong mga kasalanan. Sa gabing ito, 
Handa ka bang mapatawad na sa iyong pagkakautang? Nais mo bang mapatawad sa iyong pagkakautang sa Diyos? You see, kung hindi nagbibiro ang tao na sila'y mabayaran sa kanilang pagkakautang, ang Diyos pa kaya? Hindi napapabiro ang Diyos. Ang bawat kasalanan na ating ginagawa ay pagkakautang sa Diyos. At ang utang, ang kasalanan, pag hindi mapatawad, pagbabayaran natin ng ating kaparusahan. But like what I said, God doesn't want you punished. No, no, God doesn't want you penalized. He wants you to be forgiven tonight in this place. Sino sa atin ang handang mapatawad sa kanyang mga kasalanan? Mahugasan sa kanyang mga kasalanan. Tayo ay manalangin, iyuko natin ang ating mga ulo, mag-usap ka sa amin sa gabi ito, magligtas ka ng mga tao. Alisin mo ang hadlang, alisin mo ang balakid, ang pumipigil sa ating pagsampalataya. Tonight, listen, if you are ready, Listen carefully. If you are ready to be forgiven of your spiritual debt, if you want your spiritual debt, your sins, to be canceled, make a step. I would like to invite you to make a step. Get out of your seats. Get out of your seats. Make your way to the front. Make your way to the front. Umalis tayo sa ating mga upuan. Kung tayo ay gustong tumanggap ng kapatawaran sa ating pagkakautang at kasalanan, dumako tayo sa harapan. Brother Kenneth will sing to us. continue to invite those of you who would like for your sins to be forgiven. This is real talk. Tayo yung makasalanan. Hindi ko na kailangan pagdiinan yan. Kilala tayo ng Diyos. Kilala natin ang ating sarili. Ang kasalanan ay pagkakautang. Pero isipin nyo lamang, napunta si Jesus 
Ito ang dahilan bakit tayo may Semana Santa, ipinagdiriwang, inaalaala natin ang pagpunta ng ating Panginoong Jesus. Bakit siya namatay sa krus? Trahedya? Aksidente? Hindi po. Namatay si Jesus sapagat yun lamang ang paraan para ang ating mga kasalanan ay mabayaran. Tanging ang kanyang kamatayan ang kinakailangan para ang ating kasalanan ay mapatawad. We could die a million death, but none of our death could make us cancel our sins. Only Christ Jesus. And God wants you to be forgiven of your sins. And I praise the Lord. Thousands of you have come forward. Hundreds of you. More are coming their way. Yes. Do not miss these events. Do not miss this evening for your sins to be forgiven. And once your sins are forgiven, your name, your name will be put on a ledger. Your name will be put on the book of life. And your status is this. You're no longer a debtor. You're no longer a sinner. You are forgiven. You are debt free. I will ask Kenneth to sing again. Those of you who are trying to make their way in the front on this side, we will wait for you. And now, on the throne of majesty, the Father's will complete. He reigns in victory. If ever there is a song that you can sing right now, this song. What He has done, what He has done. My sins are forgiven. My future is heaven. That's what Jesus Christ had done for you in my behalf. Kaya magandang sumampalataya sa Panginoon. Hindi ko na kailangan maghirap. Hindi ko na kailangan magsikap. Yung utang ko, binayaran niya na. Sinagot niya na ako. And all we need to do is accept, receive, be baptized from your sins. There was one day in the day of Pentecost, thousands of years ago, ganito rin ang nangyari. Si Pedro nangaral. Libo-libo ang tumanggap. At tong araw na yon sila'y nabautismuhan. Sa gabing ito, sa liwanag ng banal na kasulatan, kung kayo ay magpapabautismo, magpapahuga sa inyong kasalanan, I cannot stress this enough. Hahakbang kayo 
paalis sa lugar na ito, matutulog kayo sa gabing ito, na kahit kayo mahirap, wala na kayong utang. Ang Diyos ang, magpa, ang nagpatawad at naglini sa inyong mga kasalanan. And those of you who are watching right now, our live stream, wherever you are watching right now, in your living rooms, or maybe in hotel rooms, or wherever you are watching this live streaming in the houses of worship, I want you to follow this prayer also. Join hundreds and hundreds of people here in Marikina in confessing Jesus as Lord and Savior. So, sa atin na pumarito sa harap na ito, itungo ngayon natin ang ating ulo. Sundin ninyo ang panalangin na ito. You bow your heads. You pray this prayer. Sincerely in your hearts. Do not mind the person next to you. It's you and God right now at this moment. I want you to pray with me. Repeat after me. Father in heaven, I receive your son Jesus as my Savior, as my Master. I recognize I'm a sinner. I am a debtor. And in my own power, I cannot pay my sins. I cannot pay off my debts. I need Jesus to forgive me of my sins, to cancel my sins. I receive Him now as my Lord and Savior. Thank you for loving me. Thank you for caring for me. Wash me now clean from my sins in baptism. In the name of Jesus, the one who has forgiven me, the one who has canceled my debt, in His name, Amen. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. To God be the glory. What you should do right now is be washed from your sins. We are prepared for you. Kami lamang ang gumagawa nito na we are literally bringing baptismal pool sa mga lugar ng aming krusada. You will have privacy you will be assisted and you will be baptized. Huwag kayong mag-aalinlangan. Huwag kayong magdududa. Your friends, your family will help you. And I want also, I'm not yet done, I want also to pray for you. If you are sick, I want to pray for you. Maybe someone you know is sick. Raise your hand right now. You see, Jesus Christ's death at the cross isn't only for our spiritual death. It is also for our sicknesses. As you raise your hand, claim, believe you are receiving the healing. You're receiving the restoration from God. In the name of Jesus, the one who has come from heaven to earth, the one who died for our sins, the one whose body suffered and died, the one preached by the Apostle Arsenio T. Ferriol, receive your healing right now in the name of Jesus. Be healed right now. Be liberated right now. Be transformed right now. Be delivered right now in the name of Jesus. Receive your healing tonight. And everyone say, Amen. Amen. I receive it, Lord. Praise God. You may not proceed to the baptism.
Huwag kayong aalis sa lugar na ito na hindi napapatawad na huhugasan sa inyong mga kasalanan. Be washed from your sins. Get baptized. Even those of you who are watching right now this live stream, get baptized. Get baptized. Huwag kayong mag-aalinlangan. Huwag kayong matatakot. Kalooban ng Diyos na kayo'y mahugasan sa inyong mga kasalanan. It's easy. It is easy. And if you cannot be baptized tonight, just in case, you can be baptized tonight. You can be baptized on Sunday. Resurrection Sunday. But don't you doubt God's will for you. Be baptized once again. God bless you all. Huwag kayong aalis. At inyong subaybayan ang pinakamagandang senakulo sa buong Metro Manila. And appreciate the Lord's work. Ang ating senakulo ay mangyayari sa ilang sandali. Even while we are baptizing, go ahead, keep going, keep going. You should be ready for the senakulo. Pagpalain kayo ng Panginoon.
pag-ibig ng Diyos ay kanyang ipinamalas nang ibigay niya ang kanyang bugtong na anak para sa sanlibutan. Ngayong mahal na araw, ating gunitain ang buhay at sakripisyo ng Panginoong Heso Kristo para sa bawat isa sa atin. Inihahandog ng Pentecostal Missionary Church of Christ Fourth Watch ang isang musikal na pagtatanghal na pinamagatang The Passion of Christ.
si Moon na tinatawag na Pedro at Andres. Sumunod kayo sa akin at gagawin ko kayo na malakaya ng mga tao. Alam ko marami ang nagtataka kung paano namin nagawa. Tangan namin lambat ay bitawan Iniwang hanap buhay at tahanan Santiago at Juan Siyang tumawag sa amin na di matanggihan Tulot ay pag-asa at kapanatagan Mahalap niya si Bidey, sumunod kayo sa akin Iwala sa kanya'y aming nadama Nang kami sumunod sa kanya Kanyang piliin Kami rin na may hamak Gaya ng ilan Bartolome Karunungan at katanyagan Sa amin ay salat Ngunit siya'y di nagtangi Sa paghina
Patuloy na sinubaybayan ng mga tao ang pangangaral ni Jesus sa mga bayan, nayon at mga sinagoga. Kasama ng kanyang labing dalawang mga alagat, ay patuloy na gumagawa si Jesus ng mga makapangyarihang gawa at mga himala. Ipanalangin ang mga batang ito. Bakit andito ang mga batang yan? Hindi sila pwedeng lumapit dito. Jesus! Jesus! Naniniwala kami na sila iyong pagpapalain. Sinasabing hindi maaari. Hindi pwede rito ang mga batang yan. Sige na po. Gusto lang namin na maipanalangin ni Jesus ang aming mga anak. Ilayunin niyo sila dito. Sige na. Ilayunin niyo sila dito. Sige na. Doon na kayo. Doon na kayo. Pabayaan ninyo ang malilit na bata. Pero guru, lalo lamang kayong pagkakaguluhan ng mga tao. Huwag ninyo silang pagbawalan na lumapit sa atin. Sapagkat sa mga ganito, ang kaharian ng lahat. Magtatakip silim na, pero hindi pa rin umalis ang mga tao. Panginoon, ilang ang dakong ito at lampas na sa oras. Palisin mo na ang napakaraming mga tao upang sila'y magsiparoon sa mga nayon at lang sila'y makabili na kanilang makakain. Hindi na kailangan na sila'y umalis. Guru, mayroon lamang po tayo ditong limang tinapay at dalawang isda. Laghin niyo sa akin ang Lumapit sa karumihan Upang makinig sa mga kwento Ng Panginoon Magtatakip silim na Ang lahat ay naghahanap ng pagkain Pamatid gutong sa ilang sandali Paano ba may bibigay Ting nasa sa amin o kay laking halaga upang lahat ay makakain. Minsay isang bata lumapit sa Panginoon, limang tinapay dalawang isda kanyang inialay. Buong tiwala sa Panginoon sa kanyang dala may magagawa upang ang ng marami ay mapawi. Tinapay ba kayo? Isang musmus na bata lahat ay ibinigay. Isang halimbawa gumising ng puso't kaluluwa. Minsay isang bata pagdamay niya ay hayag limang tinapay dalawa Isda, kinyang inialay O kami ay maging kayon Kalooban may maunawa Maging ang buhay namin ay alay Minsay, isang bata Pagdamay niya ay hayag Limang tinapay 
by the Luang Isda, Kinyang in the Alai. Oh, Kami, I magin Gion, Kalo Oban, me Mahunawa, Magin Long Buhay Nami Nai, Alai. Oh, Kami, I magin Gion, Kalo Oban, me Mahunawa, Magin Long Buhay Nami Nai, Alai. Yo, Panginoon. Narito sa ating bayan si Jesus ng taga Nazaret. Si Jesus ng taga Nazaret? Nasaan siya? Uh, Jesus ng taga Nazaret! Anak ni David, maawa po kayo sa akin. Jesus! Jesus! Anak ni David, mahabag po kayo sa akin. Mahabag po kayo sa akin. Tawagin niyo siya. Laksan mo ang iyong loob. Tumindig ka at pinapatawag ka ng Panginoon. Ano ang ibig mong gawin ko sa iyo? Ako po si Bartimeo. Mula pa sa pagkabatay, bulag ako. Panginoon, nais ko pong makakita. Mangyayari ang ayon sa nais mo, sapagat pinagaling ka ng iyong pananampalataya. Nakakakita na ako! 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 Ito bang nakakakita ka? Sinasabi ko po sa inyo, hindi ko alam kung paano nangyari ito. Basta't naramdaman ko lang po na hindi po na Jesus ang aking mga mata. At ngayon, nakakakita na ako. Totoo bang nakakakita ka? Isa lamang itong palabas. <coughs> hindi. Hindi sapagkat totoo ang pinagaling ako ni Jesus dahil nanampalataya ako sa Kanya. Tunay na siya'y sugong mula sa Diyos. Kayo po bang humipo ng aking mga mata? Sabihin po ninyo sa akin. Ano kayo mo? Ako na. Ano na? Sumasamba 
kanyang matay ng musa sa puso ng silo
katotohan ang sinasabi ko sa inyo na ako'y pagkakanulo ng isa sa inyo. Sino magkakanulo? Sino magkakanulo? Hindi ako iyon. Hindi po ba Panginoon? Iaong kasabay kong idampot ang kamay sa pinggan okay. ay siya rin magkakanulo sa akin. Ang anak ng tao ay papanaw, ayon sa nasusulat tungkol sa kanya. Subalit, kahabag-habag ang taong magkakanulo sa kanya. Mabuti pa sa taong iyo na hindi na siya ipinanganak. Panginoon, ako po ba? Ikaw na ang nagsabi. Pinakahahangad kong kanin na kasalo ninyo Ang kordero ng Pasko ang ito Bago akong maghirap Sapagkat sinasabi ko sa inyo Ito'y hindi ko kakanin Hanggang sa ito'y maganap Sa kaharian ng Diyos Ito'y aking katawan na ibinibigay dahil sa inyo. Gawin ninyo ito sa pag-alaala sa akin. Kunin ninyo. Kanin ninyo. Ito ang aking katawan. Magsiinom kayong lahat dyan Sapagat ito ang aking dugo ng tipa Na nabubuhos dahil sa marami Sa ikapagpapatawad ng mga kasalanan Datapot sinasabi ko sa inyo Nabuhat ngayon ay hindi na ako iinom nitong bunga ng ubas hanggang sa araw na yon na inumin kong panibago na mga kasalo ko kayo sa kaharian ng aking ama. Sa gabing ito, ako'y iiwan ninyong lahat. Gaya ng sinasabi sa kasulatan, papatayin ko ang pastol at mangangalat ang mga tulga. Panginoon, kahit kayo ay iiwan ang lahat, hindi ko po kayo iiwan. O iwan kayo ng lahat, hindi ko kayo Patayin kasama nyo, hindi ko kayo itatatwa. Buhay ko may iyalay ko. Dahil sa inyo, bakit ayaw mong maniwala sa Ito'y tunay na 
kaliwa sa aking sasabihin Gayun pa man ako'y kasama mo Hanggang ngayon hirap akong unawain Talinhaga mong loobin Tayo ba'y susunod? Ako'y nangangamba Napatahimik niya ang unos Ngunit sa ngayon ako ay natatakot Napakadali mong lumimot Kahit na po iwan kayo ng lahat Hindi ko kayo Mananatiling tapat hanggang wakas Pangako niya'y maliligtas Buhay ko man iaalay ko Tandaan mo, Pedro, sa gabi rin ito, bago tumilaw kong mano, tatlong beses mo akong ikakaila. Panginoon, kahit ako ipatayin kasama ninyo, hindi ko kayo ikakaila. Ako din, Panginoon, hindi ka namin ikakaila. Kailanman ay hindi ka namin iiwan. Dumito muna kayo. Kailangan nating manalangin. Magsigising kayo. Hindi pa kayo maaari makipagpuyat sa akin kahit isang oras. Magsipanalangin kayo upang hindi kayo magsipasok sa tukso. Panginoon, dapat na po tayong umalis dito. Mapanganib sa lugar na ito. Ano, Panginoon, kung makita nila tayo? Batid niyo pong nais ka nilang patayin. Hindi pa ngayon. Magsipanatili kayo rito at magsipanalangin upang huwag kayong mga lupaypay. <laughs> Ama ko, kung baga maaari, lumampas sa akin ang sarong ito. Ngayon ba'y huwag ang ayon sa aking ibig, kundi ang ayon sa ibig mo. <laughs> Mauna akong lalapit ang taong aking hahagkan at hahalikan sa pisngi. Siya, si Jesus. May tumarating ng mga kawal at kasama si Judas. 
juntos. Guruko. Udas. Sa isang halik, pinagkanin mo ang iyong Panginoon. Hulihin sila! Udas! Isa ka taksil! Tinga ko! Pedro! Bitiwan mo yan! Ang sino mang nabubuhay sa tabak, ay sa tabak din mamamatay! silang magsitakas. Hindi ba't ako ang hinahanap ninyo? Araw-araw ay nakikita ninyo akong nangangaral sa tempo. Ngunit hindi ninyo ako hinugod. Bakit ba? Dinarakip ninyo akong gaya ng isang tulisan. Nakikilala. Hindi ko siya nakikilala. Hindi ko nakikilala ang tao yan. Nagkakamali kayo. Maniwala kayo. Sinusumpa ko. Hindi ko nakikilala ang tao yan. Pinagkaila <laughs> mo ang aking Panginoon. <laughs> Tama ang sabi niya Ipinagkain ako ang Panginoon <laughs> Wala siyang kasalanan Naging mabuti siya sa akin Ngunit Sinukriyan ko ng Pagtataksil ang lahat ng iyon! Pinagpili <laughs> ko ang tugo ng Panginoon sa piraso. Pilak! Ako! Ako ang dapat pamatay! Ano nang kapuluhan ng buhay ko ito? Wala na!
namin si Jesus na taga Nazaret. Jesus na taga Nazaret. Ako si Poncio Pilato, gobernador sa buong Hudea. Jesus na taga Nazaret. Matagal na kitang gustong makita. Maligayang pagdating. Dinalo tayo ni Jesus na taga Nazaret. Narito ang misyas. Marami na akong naririnig ng mga dakilang gawang mula sa iyo. Siya ang pinagmumulan ng kaguluhan sa buong Mudeya. Di ba't hindi totoo ang sinasabi niya? Di ba, Jesus? Dahil wala akong narinig na ano man laban sa iyo. Inaari niya ang kanyang sarili na hari ng mga hudyo. Tumahimik ka kay Pas. Ikaw ba ang magiging hari ng mga hudyo? Totoo ba yan, Jesus? Talaga bang ikaw ay isang hari? Jesus na taga Nazaret. Ikaw ba talaga ang hari ng mga hudyo? Pinag-uusapan siya ng lahat ng mga tao na nagpapagaling ng mga bulag at ketongin. Ketongin? Ah! Ah! Oo ba? Lahat sila'y pinagaling ng tao nito. Huwag mo siyang hawakan! Paalisin mo na siya dito! Jesus na taga Nazaret! Tatay ka na lamang bagaya ng isang estatwa! Bakit ayaw mong magsalita? Magsalita ka! Ang pananahimik ay matibay na sandata ng isang makasalanan. Wala sa kasalanan dahil siya'y wala sa tamang pag-iisip. Baliw ang taong niya! Kabahalan! Kabahalan! Huwag mong hayaang makatakas ang nagkukunwaring gurong ito! Ngayon, Anong kasalanan ang iahatol ninyo sa kanya? Kamumuso na ang kaparusahan ay kamatayan.
Magsalita ka. Meron akong kapangyarihan na ipapako ka sa kus o kaya ipalayain ka. Wala ka kapangyarihan sa akin. Maliba sa kapangyarihan pinigil sa iyo ng aking ama. Inuhugasan ko ang aking kamay. Tanda na wala akong pananagutan sa taong ito. Kayo ang may gusto na ipako sa sakos. Hindi ako. Ipako sa Jesus sa krus!
Patawarin mo sila. <laughs> Sapagkat hindi nila nalalang. Ang kanil ginagawa. <laughs> Ba natatakot? Ang taong ito ay walang kasalanan. Tayo ang karapat dapat sa kaparusahan ito. Jesus, isa lamang ang hinihiling ko. Alalahanin mo ako. Pagdating mo sa iyong kaharian. Katotohan ang sinasabi ko sa'yo. Ngayon din, ay kakasamahin kita sa paraiso. Ni 
Jesus na mateixa o bom raio
tagumpay tayong lahat ng Panginoon. Alam ko na tayo nagpapasalamat sa Panginoon sa kanyang ginawa doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo. At ang ating mga kasalanan ay napatawad sa kanyang mga sakripisyo at sa kanyang kamatayan. Ngunit kayo po ay aking inaanyayahan sa darating na linggo ng umaga sa muling pagkabuhay ng Panginoon. At ang lahat po, ang bawat isa sa atin ay invited. At kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa mga tao na kinasangkapan upang maging matagumpay ang gawain pong ito. Unang-una po aming pinapasalamaran ang ating buting Mayor Marcy Chodoro, Congresswoman Man Chodoro, Vice Mayor Marion Andres, Marikina City Council Members, City Administrator Ms. Janet Obispo, ang ating mga kapulisan, ang PNP, ang uh, Traffic Management and Enforcement Unit, at uh, ang ating uh, Sir Edwin Tan. Uh, maraming salamat din sa GMA7 na nag-cover ng ating uh, Senakulo, DCRH, at DCME. At ang ating mga Zion Head Ministers na narito at uh, gayon din ang mga Cluster Head ng uh, Marikina, ang Home Free Praise and Worship Team, ang uh, Home Free Committee and uh, Production Staff, the Passion Play Production Staff, Church Overseer, Bishop Osi Kiliao, ang ating mga Church Council Members, to our uh, beloved Evangelist Let Feriol, to our beloved Deputy Bishop Jonathan Feriol at higit sa lahat ang ating Apostle Arsenio Feriol. Maraming maraming salamat po. At ang bawat isa sa atin po, kami po ay nagpapasalamat sa inyong pagdako sa dakong ito para maidaos po ang ating senakulo. Minsan pa tayong lahat po ay tumayo. Tawagan po natin ang ating mahal na Presbyter Chris Enriquez na tayo po ay wakasan sa panalangin. Tayo po ay manalangin. O Diyos, na makapangyarihan sa lahat, nagpapasalamat po kami sapagkat minahal mo ang hindi kaibig-ibig ay yung inibig. At kami na mga makasalanan. Binigyan mo kami ng pagkakataon upang ipaunawa sa amin ang iyong dakilang pag-ibig mo sa amin. Ano ba't ibinigay mo ang iyong buktong na anak na siya ang umako ng bigat ng aming mga kasalanan. O Diyos, napakabuti mo sa amin. Kahanga-hanga ang iyong pag-ibig mo sa amin. Humantong doon sa krus ng Kalbaryo. Inako mo ang bigat ng aming mga kasalanan. At sa mga pagkakatong ito, lumalapit kami sa iyo. Pakumbaba kami, lumalapit at dumadain na kami, lagi mo kaming kahabagan. Patawarin sa aming mga kasalanan. Matuto kami lagi magpakumbaba aming kilalanin na may Diyos na makapangyarihan sa lahat. May Diyos na umibig sa amin. May Diyos na namamagitan sa amin upang ang bigat ng aming kasalanan kami makasumpong 
ng kapatawaran, katubusan, dahil kay Kristo Jesus na inalay niya ang kanyang buhay para sa amin. O Diyos, sa mga pagkakatong ito, salamat sa global crusade, home free, ipinaunawa mo sa amin ang dakilang pag-ibig mo sa amin. Binigyan mo kami na buhay na pag-asa na kung kami man ay sama-samang sumampalatayas kay Jesus na siyang Kristo ang Panginoon, ang dakilang tagapagdiktas sa Kanya'y meron kaming katiyakan. Katiyakan ng kapatawaran, kat- katiyakan ng katubusan. At ngayon, dalain po namin sa pagkakatong ito, lahat kami ay yung kahabagan, dakilang Diyos. Kahabagan mo kami sa aming mga kasalanan. Kahabaga, kahabagan mo kami sa lahat ng aming mga kalikuan, sa lahat ng aming mga kasama na minagawa. Kay Kristo kami matutong lumapit sa iyo at ikaw ay aming kilalanin bilang aming Panginoon, bilang aming tagapagdiktas na ikaw ang namatay at dahil sa aming mga kasalanan. Salamat po at sa mga pagkakatong ito, salamat sa programa ng Home Free Crusade, ang Grand Sinakalo sa pagkakatong ito. Muli mo yung pinapaunawa mo sa amin ang kahalagahan na yung kamatayan, kahalagahan na yung pag-ibig mo sa amin. At mula ngayon, tulong mo po kami lagi na kami sumunod sa iyo na may buong pakumbabaan. Tumalima kami sa iyo mga salita. Huwag kami magbingi-bingihan kung marinig namin ay yung mga salita sa pamamagitan ng Home Free Crusade at sa gitong gawain, sama-sama kaming lumalapit sa iyo. Tulong mo kami lagi makalakad sa iyong kalooban. Salamat po, Ama, sa pangalan ni Kristo Jesus. Pagpalaan mo ang bawat isa sa amin ngayon sa gabing ito. Pagpalaan mo ang iyong anak, ang mga tumalim at sumunod sa iyong mga salita. Maranasan nila ang dakilang pag-ibig, ang dakilang pagliligtas sa pamamagitan ng iyong banal na Espiritu. Salamat po sa pangalan ni Jesus. Ito pong aming dalangin sa pangalan ni Jesus. Amen and amen.